in this video i am going to brief about bargaining games which is a branch of cooperative uh, game theory we have seen uh, quite a detailed overview of non cooperative games so far in other videos it's included static games dynamic games repeated games and condition games while they are called uh, cooperative games bargaining games non cooperative games bargaining games are part of an important branch of game theory called as cooperative games so players have a mutual benefit to cooperate for example uh, coalition in a parliament or startup company where everybody wants ipo while competing for more stock a stock shares so there are two popular uh, cooperative game uh, types one is bargaining games and the other one is coalitional game so introduction to bargaining bargaining situation a number of individuals have a common interest to cooperate but conflicting interest on how to cooperate each player is still self interested and bargaining is a process through which players on their own attempt to reach an agreement which can be tedious involving offers counter offers negotiations for example purchasing a house purchasing a second hand car all these may involve a lot of bargaining so bargaining theory or bargaining game study these situations the outcome and the bargaining process what are some of the key issues in bargaining players must inspect efficiency and the effect of delay and disagreement on it they want a mutually joint efficient mutual agreement distribution of the gains from the agreement which element from the efficient set must the players select what are the joint strategies that the players must choose to get their desired outcome how to finally enforce agreement <coughs> now how do we link this to game theory issues 1 and 2 where the inspecting efficiency and effect of delay and disagreement and uh, distribution of gains from the agreement are modeled by cooperative games and the joint strategies the players must choose and how to enforce agreement are linked to non cooperative games so the focus of this video is on issues 1 and 2 let's take an example of a rich dad and a poor dad and there is a jin who says i can give you 100 dollars if and only if you agree on how to share it so what do you think will 50 50 work for them will they agree so the rich dad the rich person will find that 50 dollar is nothing it's a money that i give as a tip to uh, someone in the restaurant on every day uh, it's too less for me so essentially given his wealth he can demand the poor guy that uh, i will give you money for a meal maybe 5 dollars or 1 dollar remaining all i will take if you do not agree i don't want this you will lose everything and poor guy at least for uh, one meal to get uh, satisfied he might agree to that and he will get 1 dollar and then he will go so this is what typically going to happen and uh, this is essentially bargaining theory and the solution is nash bargaining solution so the approach by professor john nash when presented with a bargaining problem such as this rich man poor man case how can we pick a reasonable outcome so the bargaining solution gives is interested in outcome and not the process nash bargaining solution was proposed in 1950s using an axiomatic approaches it's one of the very key foundation of bargaining problems so given a bargaining problem between two players consider a utility region yes that is compact and convex utility is a function that assigns value to each player 
we also have something called as disagreement point so below that I won't agree for example you imagine a, a meal cost five dollars so any amount less than five dollars is disagreement for a poor guy also right he might as well say okay if you're just giving me two dollars I don't want anything because I can't do anything with two dollars so Nash bargaining problem is defined by the pair the utility region comma disagreement point so the axioms proposed by John Nash are feasibility Pareto efficiency symmetry invariance to linear transformation and independence of irrelevant alternatives let's see one by one. feasibility implies that outcome of the bargaining process say u star and v star cannot be worse than the disagreement point it has to be feasible that is very natural uh, condition right so a disagreement point is a benchmark Pareto efficiency players need to do as well as they can without hurting one another so no player can improve without decreasing the others utility you will not be able to find a uv such that u is greater than u star and v is greater than or equal to v star another one is symmetry so if there are two players who has same disagreement point their outcome should also be same so if d1 equal to d2 and this sc symmetric around uh, u equal to v then u star should be v star invariance to linear transformation simply states that bargaining outcome varies linearly if the utilities are scaled using an affine transformation so instead of hundred dollars it will become two hundred dollars the rich man poor man problem is still going to be very similar and uh, independence of irrelevant alternatives so if the solution of the bargaining problem lies in a subset u of s the outcome does not vary if bargaining is performed on u instead of s so given all this the bargaining solution is a closed form solution uh, which is which is guaranteed to satisfy all these axioms so u star comma v star is max of u minus d1 times v minus d2 so find a u and v such that u minus d1 times v minus d2 is maximum that is your bargaining solution this is known as the Nash product so when d1 equal to d2 equal to 0 this is equivalent to the famous solution of uh, proportional fairness especially in the context of telecommunication networks so considering logarithmic utilities and considering what is the each man's wealth the Nash solution dictates that the rich man receives a larger share is that fair fairness is subjective here maybe for a poor man one meal is something he is going to value like anything Nash bargaining solution NBS is easily extended to n person case so the utility space becomes n dimensional we can simply extend the product of ui minus di for all i from 1 to n if we drop the symmetry axiom we can define generalized bargaining solution which is nothing but in addition to disagreement point I introduce a new term called alpha i which is the bargaining power this is exactly what is used in uh, the rich man poor man example the rich man had a higher bargaining power maybe a high value of alpha and poor man had a very low bargaining power close to zero and uh, this is exactly what we played in that game summary the general Nash bargaining solution is very interesting concept of allocating utilities it provides Pareto optimality account for the bargaining power of the players it can also be unfair 
and it requires convexity of the utility region it does not give the process of how you got an answer it can just give a static solution there are also alternatives such as kalaiis morodinsky solution which can even consider the maximum requirements for each player and it is interestingly turned out that a special case of kalaiis morodinsky solution is in fact nash bargaining solution a small case study or an example of how this is used in cloud resource allocation the problem is resource allocation and pricing strategies for compute cloud environments essentially infrastructure as a service compute resources so assume there are a lot of tasks coming we know a list of tasks that are coming at a time we model it using uh, bargaining solution so the product of r i minus d i to the power alpha i given each r should be is an element of r and then r i greater than or equal to d i and sigma r i should not be greater than r total given a maximizing functions and conditions we can solve it using lagrange condition lagrange multipliers and kkt conditions and we get a clause form solution the bargaining power case model can be modeled in different ways based on the problem we have tried a modeling it bargaining power as a function of deadline budget requirements and a combination of both another example uh, is uh, multimedia resource allocation where less resources to be shared among nodes demanding more resources i have given this uh, reference here interested people can go and read with that uh, let me thank you for your attention to bargaining games bye